Hello guys, welcome to Culture Tourist video about Jan van Eyck. In this video, I'm going to tell you more about Jan van Eyck, his art and optical revolution exhibition organized in Ghent and one of the most famous art pieces in the world, the Ghent altarpiece. Jan van Eyck is one of the most famous Flemish masters and painters of all times. 2020 is dedicated to this Belgian artist and is going to be filled with special events to celebrate him. To show you more of his work, I'm going to Ghent in Belgium, where currently the biggest exhibition ever about him is organized. And I'm also going to visit the newly restored Ghent altarpiece. However, let me start first by telling you more about Jan van Eyck. He was born around 1390 and died in 1441. Although his life was rather short, it was filled with adventures and he left a huge mark on the art world. He revolutionized it so much that up until the 19th century, art historians thought he invented the oil painting. He was exceptionally well-educated for his time. Jan van Eyck spoke Latin and also used Greek and Hebrew alphabet in his inscriptions. He was also one of the first painters ever who was signing his work. Jan van Eyck was born close to Liege in today's Belgium. He then lived and worked in The Hague in the Netherlands, Lille in France and Bruges in Belgium. Probably both because of his education and the great artistic talent, he became interesting to the Burgundian duke, Philip the Good. Van Eyck painted for him, his court and wealthy citizens of Bruges and Ghent. However, it looks like he wasn't only Philip's court painter. He took several diplomatic visits abroad on his behalf. They are described as secret missions in documents. And although he was paid a lot of money for them, their exact nature is still unknown. He went to Lisbon in 1428 to explore the possibility of a marriage contract between the Duke and Isabella of Portugal. One of his tasks during it was to paint a portrait of Isabella, so the Duke would know how his future wife looks like. Although the original painting is lost, you can see a copy at the exhibition. This year is dedicated to Van Eyck and to celebrate his work, the Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent organized the biggest ever exhibition about him. Here in front of the Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent, also known as MSK. This is the oldest museum in Belgium and we are here because of a very special exhibition that's organized in it. It's an exhibition about Jan van Eyck, one of the most famous Flemish masters. However, as you can see, weather is not the best outside, so come with me inside and let's take a look at the exhibition. Around 23 of Van Eyck's artworks are preserved, and you can see more than a half, some 13 pieces that traveled from all over the world at this exhibition. Its star is the Ghent altarpiece displayed for the first and probably the last time outside the St. Bavo Cathedral in Ghent. It's so interesting to see all those paintings in one place. From the religious art to some of the portraits, you can see quite well why he's considered to be one of the most important painters of all times. Jan van Eyck revolutionized painting world and brought the Renaissance to the north of Europe. You can see that painting revolution so well at this exhibition. Well, let me show you some of it. Oil painting before Jan van Eyck was an impractical technique. It would take a long time for the oil to dry and the painter would need to wait quite some time to apply the next layer of paint. However, van Eyck started experimenting with that technique to improve it. After making numerous tests, he's adding so-called drying agents and managed to shorten the drying period that way. He could paint quickly and easily apply layer after layer of paint. He actually improved it so well that a hundred years later, a famous Italian artist biographer, Giorgio Vasari, attributed the discovery of oil paint to him. Jan van Eyck was observing the world around him in a completely new way. His focus on details was previously unseen. But the realism he's showing on his paintings isn't visible in details only, but also in a way he's showing the volume of human figure and depth of space by the way he's presenting light and shadow on his paintings. 
That's especially visible in his portraits, where you can see a big contrast between illuminated faces and dark black backgrounds. His portraits are among the first that weren't showing royals or aristocrats. Van Eyck is always following the same formula when it comes to portraits. The three-quarter profile, focus on details on a person's face, and contrast between the darker background and the illuminated face. Although he was using the light to show the volume, he's taking a step further in a way of showing the light in his paintings. That's very well visible on the Ghent altarpiece. He's painting the actual light of the chapel in San Bawa Cathedral in which he knew altarpiece was going to be installed. That way, it seems as the exterior panels are actually illuminated by light that enters the chapel from the right. Ghent altarpiece, painted by Jan and his brother Hubert van Eyck, became a symbol of this Belgian town. It's located in St. Bavo Cathedral since 1432 when it was installed there. However, a large restoration started in 2012 and it was finished a few months ago. For that occasion, the exterior panels of the altarpiece and the ones with Adam and Eve are displayed for the first time in history outside of it. They are the central pieces of the Jan van Eyck and Optical Revolution exhibition at the nearby Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent. It's a unique chance to see them from close and look at all the small details that otherwise couldn't be seen. However, for the complete experience, I went to St. Bava Cathedral to see restored inner panels as well. This is St. Bava's Cathedral behind me, and this is where Ghent altarpiece was installed in 1432 after Jan van Eyck painted it. However, its time here wasn't completely peaceful. In 1934, two panels of Ghent altarpiece were stolen from here. Ghent altarpiece consists of 24 panels painted on oak wood. The most famous pieces are the central adoration of the mystic lamp, Adam and Eve, and probably my favorite, the singing angels. This is how Ghent altarpiece looks like. During the most of the year, it was closed, and these are the outer panels you could see. So basically, you could see the Annunciation uh, to St. John's and the couple that commissioned the altar. Um, however, during the certain days of the year, they would open it, and then it would look completely different. If you're going to visit the Van Eyck exhibition at the MSK in Ghent, you will see restored outer uh, panels of the altarpiece. Um, so basically the ones you can see here, plus Adam and Eve, um, and the rest of the Ghent altarpiece is at the cathedral in Ghent. However, if you will be visiting Ghent after the April 30th of 2020, then you will see the whole altarpiece over there. Jan van Eyck is absolutely one of the most important painters of all times and the one who brought an optical revolution to the painting of the early Renaissance in the north of Europe. 2020 is a great occasion to visit Ghent and learn more about this amazing painter. Thanks for watching my video about Jan van Eyck and an optical revolution exhibition organized at MSK in Ghent. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss any of my future